When it comes to Facebook ads, it's easy to always fall into the trap of thinking that the biggest thing that you can do is going to be the best thing for your business. But sometimes those small changes are what really are going to move the margin in terms of constant improvement. So today I'm gonna to share with you two small Facebook ad changes that you can make that will change and improve your ads forever. So let's get into it. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Bayos Digital. Let's go ahead and dive into the first of the two small changes that you can make to get better Facebook ads results right away. And the first is to have faster loading pages. So this is something that very few people actually pay attention to and I have called it the campaign killer. But you might be saying, okay, well, there's not much I can do about that. My page is my page. It's gonna load at the speed it's going to load. It's defined by the platform that I'm using Using, whether it's Kajabi or ClickFunnels or lead pages, whatever it might be. All good platforms, by the way, but they do have the downfall of having slow loading pages. And again, look at your ratios of your link clicks to landing page views. If that's a very big gap, then you know you have a very big problem on your hands. So how do you solve this? Well, I solve this by using Convertree. Now, this is a platform that I absolutely love because yes, it is yet another landing page builder, but they specialize in creating high fast loading pages. I have used just about every single platform under the sun and I can assure you with great confidence that Convertry has the fastest loading pages out there on the market. And that's why I love using this tool. And the other reason I love using this tool is because you might be thinking to yourself, wait, this is not a small change. I have to recreate all of my pages here inside of Convertry, but, but, but you actually do not. One amazing feature about Convertry is that they have a page importer. So you can simply input the URL of your landing page. It will recreate the entire page for you and it's going to do 95% of the work. All you have to do afterwards is fix a little bit of the formatting and then voila, your page will be ready to go with a fast loading experience. This is ultra important, especially for mobile because on mobile things tend to slow load a little bit more slowly. And since mobile is the vast majority of traffic, this is something that can and really improve your campaigns right away. I recently just did this with a client of mine and just by changing the page to Convertry over from Kajabi, we were able to drop the cost per lead by 41 cents. Everything else is exactly the same. Now you might be saying, hey, 41 cents is not that much, but this was, this was actually already a very high converting landing page and this is also when you're spending $40,000 a month like this client does. When you're spending $40,000 a month and you can save 41 cents on every single lead simply by having the page load faster inside a Convertry, then that goes a very long way. So if this is a platform you are interested in checking it out, I'll have the link for that software for you in the show notes below. All right, change number two is a little bit of a two-parter. Overall, my recommendation here is to spend more time spying on your competitors. We're so obsessed about our ads, our business, our funnels that we forget to kind of look outside and see what is going on in the world. And that's important to do because guess what? Our target customers are seeing the ads of our competitors as well. So it's very important that we know what is going on with them at all times. So there's two great ways you can spy on your competitors. The first is actually to click on their ads as they show up on your newsfeed to see what targeting options they are using. So as you can see in this example right here, I click on this ad and it actually just tells me that they're targeting everyone who speaks English is living in the United States. That tells me that they are actually using broad uh, targeting, broad audience, no targeting. I actually have an entire video on this topic, which you can go ahead and check out right here. And that is a viable option. So maybe, right, you, maybe you don't have any broad audience, no targeting ad sets and you see that your competitor's doing it. Maybe that means that you should be giving it a try because obviously if they're running it, there might be something to it. Not always though just because they're doing it, it doesn't mean that it's a guarantee that it works, but it's also a good idea just to see if what they're doing might also work for you. The other great way to spy your competitors is to actually see all of the ads that they are running. Now, when you do this, you can't see their targeting options, but you can just see every single ad that is active in their arsenal. So to do this, you actually have to go to their Facebook business page and go to the page transparency section. Once you are there, you will see their full ads library, each and every single ad that they are running. Take a look at their ad copy, take a look at their creative, 
and see what you can do differently, first and foremost, because you don't want to just copy your competitors word for word or creative for creative, but also see, hey, is there something that they're truly emphasizing here? Is there a specific pain point that they're touching upon, a specific benefit that they always emphasize? Maybe there's something to it. So maybe you should start putting those elements in your ad copy and creative as well. All right, so there you have it. Those are the two changes you can make that will improve in your Facebook ads forever. So I hope you found them useful. They are very quick, very easy, and extremely efficient. But if you have any questions about any of those things, as always, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.